everyone, it's Lindy. Thank you so much for joining me today. On today's episode, we are going to be making a bouquet, not flowers though, mini cupcakes. You can take the same idea and transfer it to regular size cupcakes or even jumbo cupcakes. Although the jumbo cupcakes, I'll be honest, are a little difficult to work with in a bouquet because they are so heavy. So we're gonna be using mini cupcakes today. You need some kind of cute little container, floral foam, some kind of shred or grass, toothpicks, maybe a few skewers, mini cupcakes, piping bags, a large coupler, a 1M tip, and your favorite frosting. Let's go ahead and prepare our container. I have a paper plate sat in front of me because when I cut my floral foam, it makes a big mess on my kitchen counter. Now, you want your foam to come out just above the top of your container. So I have an old piece of foam that I'm going to cut a slice off of and stick it in the bottom to help it raise it up just a little bit. Then I'm going to take a brand new piece of foam. I find these at Dollar Tree all the time. They're really great to keep on hand. And I'm going to put that down inside the container. Now, it's very wobbly, so I want it to become stabilized. So I'm going to cut a few more slices stick those on each side of the foam that's in here and it helps stabilize it just a bit. Now what we're going to do is add some of our shred over the top. You can shove it down into the sides as well to help hide it. That's the whole point of this. Of course, feel free to use greenery or anything like that that you might have on hand or want to use. Don't worry if you don't get it completely covered because you can add more when you're done adding the cupcakes. I'm just gonna shove it into the little hole so it'll stay, and my cupcakes will hide some of it as well. We can trim off the crazy parts once we're done adding the cupcakes. So let's get going on those cupcakes. I've already prepared my piping bag with my frosting. Don't forget, it's a Wilton 1M tip. If you're not sure how to use a piping bag with a coupler, I'll upload a tutorial on that here soon. You're going to frost your cupcakes in a flower pattern. Starting at the inside, working out, going counterclockwise. Now, you might be tempted to shove your toothpick in, but you're going to want to poke holes in the bottom of your liner first with your toothpick. It just gives it a little guide point. You might even have to wiggle it around a little bit. Then you can put your toothpick on and then set it on down. You're going to keep working around your floral arrangement as you go. It might even be easier to poke a hole before you add frosting. That way your hand doesn't get frosting all over it. So we're just going to work around our container in the same manner until we have it completely filled. Just be careful when it's the cupcakes on the sides because they can fall off. So you want your toothpick sticking up somewhat out of the container. suggest using an odd number of anything in an arrangement. So here I have three already. I'm going to add two more and we will trim off the greenery as needed. Poke that last hole in my mini cupcake. Frost it on up. And we'll go ahead and put it on this side. Now if I'm not happy with that I can of course add more but I love how it looks already. And I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off some of this crazy greenery that's hanging out on my canister. And I actually got this greenery on clearance after Easter with this little project in mind. So there you have it, a little mini flower cupcake bouquet. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe. That way you're notified every single time that we upload new videos. Feel free to give us a thumbs up, comment, or question, and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much.